By now our footwork had two counts, changing our stance and then resetting. Now we'll look at variations that have one or three counts. One counts will basically be jumps, using the same footwork patterns as before but explosively. Here we have the jumping version of the step and drag. We still drive off of our planted foot and push the other one out. Adding odd beats will change the coordination of our stick work. Here I keep moving my stick forth and back, left to right. Because of the jump in the middle, I always do the backhand first in one lane and the forehand first in the other lane. Another way of jumping is towards the planted foot, the fast version of the shuffle step. Again I use a constant pattern with my stick, alternating between backhand and forehand attacks. The jump changes which one comes first. Now we'll look at moves that change our stance twice, ticking three counts to reset. Here we bring the feet closer together, then far apart, and then back to our stance. Not only does this break the rhythm, we can also cover a lot of ground that way. If you reverse direction after the first step, you get a triangle with three counts. Next, we'll widen our feet twice before returning to our stance. Widening to opposite sides works really well for changing directions. We can also widen twice in the same direction. This stutter step is a nice way to surprise your opponent. If you also want to surprise your opponent by changing levels, I got just the thing for you in the next video.